Hello everyone. In this video, we will study about chip thickness ratio and shear angle. So when the tool is pressed against the workpiece, chip is produced due to the deformation of material ahead of the cutting edge. So shearing action takes place in the shear plane and the shear plane separates the deformed and undeformed material. So the plane along which the element shears is called the shear plane. So let us draw the figure. So this is the workpiece. So, so this is the workpiece. And a cutting tool comes in contact with the workpiece. This is the tool and the material gets sheared off from the workpiece from the shear plane. So this is the shear plane. So this is the shear plane. So from where the material gets sheared off in the form of chips. So this is chip. So material gets sheared off in the form of chip. So this is the shear plane. Shear plane. And this Is the depth of cut T and TC is the chip thickness. So this shear plane makes an angle phi, which is called the shear angle. Now This angle is alpha, it is the back ray angle alpha. Now extending this and drawing a perpendicular. So this will be similar to or corresponding to TC. So this is 90. So this angle is phi, this angle is alpha. So this angle will be equal to 90 minus phi. 90 minus phi. So this angle will be equal to, what will be this angle? So for that consider the small triangle. What will be the value? Which is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 5 90 minus 5 then this angle is alpha plus alpha then this 90 degree plus 90 degree so which is equal to 190 minus 90 plus 5 minus alpha minus 90 which is equal to phi minus alpha. So this angle will be equal to phi minus alpha. Then this angle will be equal to so this whole angle will be equal to phi. Since this is phi this will also be equal to phi and this angle will be equal to 
this will be equal to alpha so t is the depth of cut or it is the uncut chip thickness t is the uncut chip thickness and tc is the chip thickness so let us go through the derivation so t is the uncut chip thickness and tc is the chip thickness now alpha is the two right angle and phi is the shear angle now from this figure so this considers l m n so consider this triangle p so this triangle what will be the value of sin phi sin phi will be equal to sin phi will be equal to what will be the value of sin phi sin phi is equal to opposite side d by hypotenuse l m l m therefore t is equal to l m sin phi similarly consider this triangle l m n so considering that triangle what will be the value of cos phi minus alpha so cos phi minus alpha will be equal to cos phi minus alpha this angle will be equal to adjacent side that is m n divided by l m and m n is equal to t c so which is equal to t c by l m therefore t c is equal to l m cos phi phi minus alpha then the chip thickness ratio r is equal to t divided by t c therefore l m sin phi l m sin phi divided by l m cos phi minus alpha which is equal to sin phi by cos phi minus alpha which is equal to sin phi by cos phi cos alpha mar plus sin phi sin alpha now dividing the numerator and denominator divided by sin phi therefore 1 divided by cos phi by sin phi cot phi cos alpha plus sin phi divided by sin phi 1 sin alpha so r is equal to this one so r into cot phi cos alpha plus sin alpha is equal to 1 therefore r cot phi cos alpha is equal to 1 minus r sin alpha again cot phi is equal to 1 minus r sin alpha divided by cos alpha and for taking the reciprocal tan phi is equal to sorry r cos alpha tan phi is equal to r cos alpha divided by 1 minus r sin 
alpha. Therefore, shear angle phi is equal to tan inverse r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha. So, this is the equation for shear angle phi. Now, the value of r, so r is equal to sin phi divided by cos phi minus alpha. Now, the value of r is always less than 1 and it can be evaluated by measuring tip thickness and depth of cut. But actually, it is very difficult to measure chip thickness precisely due to the roughness of back surface of the chip and the volume of metal removed is equal to the volume of chip. Now chip reduction coefficient or coefficient of chip contraction. So it is the inverse of chip thickness ratio. And it is a quantitative measurement of plastic deformation occurred during the cutting process. So, it is being denoted as K. So, chip reduction coefficient K is equal to chip reduction coefficient. Chip reduction coefficient k is equal to 1 by r so this is about the chip thickness ratio and the shear angle thank you